What's up, everybody? Welcome, Pericles Daily Dance. We're starting a brand new series for the month of November. I'm pumped. It's called Prayer. That's it, Prayer. One of those things that, you know, when you were a little kid, um, we've grown up praying, right? I don't know how you prayed or how you were taught to pray, right? Do you, you know, <laughs> I, I think it's funny, no matter where you go in the world, especially for Seventh day Adventists, a lot of people, you know, we start our prayers. Dear Jesus, and what's the next line? Thank you for this day. I don't know who taught us this or whatever, but it seems like at one point all the moms got together and said, okay, everybody, when we teach our children to pray, we're going to say, dear Jesus, thank you for this day, because it seems like that's what we all do. And I'm not sure how you were taught to pray, who taught you to pray, if someone taught you to pray. Um, but prayer is a really interesting thing um, that we're going to take some time this month in November to unpack. So today is day one, brand fresh new series called prayer. And ultimately, the question is, what is prayer? I think for many people, we think prayer is, well, I'm just, it's just a conversation with God. I'm just, I'm just talking to God. And I guess my question is, is that true? Is that what prayer is? It's just you or me or whomever talking to God. I think it's interesting. The disciples, who were Jews, by the way, and Jews in their context in the first century, they would have been taught how to pray since before they could walk. Prayer and learning how to pray was such a vital and crucial and critical part of growing up in that first century Jewish world. So the disciples would have known how to pray. And they would have been praying their entire lives. But it seems like one day they see Jesus pray differently. Jesus prays, he does his thing, and then the disciples, after the prayer, they go up to Jesus and they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. We have been praying our whole life, but you just now, when you prayed, you did it differently. Like, how do you pray, Jesus, right? It's like they're inspired. We've been taught how to pray, but you do it differently. I want to pray like you. And so it's interesting what Jesus says to the disciples. The disciples go up to Jesus and they're like, hey, teach us to pray like that. I want to learn like that. And the first thing Jesus says, and he doesn't start teaching them how to pray. The first thing he teaches them is how not to pray. So maybe it's possible to pray wrong. <laughs> Which is kind of an interesting concept. And even just saying that, it sounds a little weird. Like, wait, what? There's a wrong way to pray? But it's interesting, Jesus in Matthew 6, he, this is what he says. He says, when you pray, which is interesting, when you pray, assuming you already pray. He says, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. So the very first thing that we need to think about when it comes to prayer is maybe there is a space when we do it wrong. So Jesus says, when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. Now, I know you and I, we know what a hypocrite is, right? But like in our own 2017 context. But in the original, the word hypocrite, the word that we translate into English as hypocrite, it literally means a stage actor. And if you go back in history and you understand, everyone that acted on the stage at that time, they were all males, they were all dudes. But the characters on the stage wouldn't always be a dude. So the actors would wear, physically, they would actually put on masks. These masks would portray images, they would portray characters, they would portray emotions. So the first thing Jesus says is when you pray, assuming you already pray, but when you do it, don't be an actor putting on a mask. This is so raw and so real and relevant for us in 2017. Ultimately, what is Jesus saying? When you're talking to God, be real. Be authentic. This God knows more about you than you know about you. So don't pretend that you're somebody else. Don't pretend to be feeling a certain way when you're actually feeling this. If, you don't need, if you're not even sure that there's a God who is listening to your prayers, like be honest about that. God, I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm not even sure I believe in you. But at the end of the day, the very first thing, the very first thing Jesus teaches is when you're talking to God, be authentic. Be real. If you're struggling, be real with those struggles. If you're angry, be angry at God. If you're hurt, explain to Him how you're hurt. All of these things are elements of authenticity and honesty. What does that mean? What does it sound like? Stay tuned as we continue this thought of prayer.